Okay, back again, as promised, to talk about shoes and show you what I got at the thrift store today. And actually, I found a couple of pairs um, two days ago when I went in there to do a return. A note about buying secondhand shoes. There's a lot of junk out there, just like with clothing, too. There's a lot of junk. And we go back to this idea of letting your hands kind of figure out what you have. If you can practice your sensory abilities, what, although if you saw last video, I was like, this is totally silk and it was totally polyester. So <laughs> it's not foolproof, but um, really kind of learning what real leather feels like, what real suede feels like. There's a lot of faux suede out there and you can look at it even. You can feel it and then you can look and you can almost see the woven kind of cross hatching behind what is basically a brushed fabric. So just know what you are getting into. And then look, because oftentimes shoes will label what the uppers are, what the soles are, and what the lining or the insole is. So just to be aware, but let, let your fingers kind of be, and your eyes too, because you can usually spot, you know, that looks like vinyl, that looks like leather, but then you have to test it. And if you still don't know, you've really got to look for a fabric content. And if you can't find one and you love the item, then you just have to be okay getting the item and not knowing whether or not it's real. So the other day I came home with two pairs of shoes. Um, one I had talked about in a previous video that I tend to haunt the men's shoe section. And this really is for a couple of reasons. One, men's shoes tend to be made to last, much more so than women's shoes. And I have a size eight and a half, nine foot, which is about a 39 and a half to a 40 European size. So in men's shoes, American, that translates to about seven and a half to eight. Usually people in that shoe size tend to be younger, which means they're still growing, which means they will have these shoes for a short period of time. They might not even wear them and then they will grow out of them. So it's really a good place, a good place to check. Uh, what I did check was the men's store the other day or the men's department the other day at the thrift store and found these fun little numbers. These are fry boots that zip up on the outside. Oh, and here's the other thing too. Sometimes employees at thrift stores will look at a shoe and it has men's styling. So they automatically assume that it is men's and then a women's, a women's shoe or a boot will wind up in there. Uh, this is a fry boot. It's totally leather lined on the inside. So you can see that on the inside. It's got the zippers. It has the little fry insignia here. It's got a leather sole, a little squared off toe, really fun and fabulous. And I think that they priced these accordingly. So they were about 20 bucks, but considering how much fries usually cost and how long they last, I felt like I was stealing. <laughs> the other pair that I got the other day were these, and I have been looking for dress boots. I've kind of have had these more clunky, like those fries, work boot looking, rustic, vintage -y looking shoes for a while. And I'm finding that there are times when I would like something a little bit dressier and I just don't have anything right now. So I've been kind of keeping my eyes open for it. Um, these are really pretty J. Crew dress boots with a heel on them. They look like they've had almost no wear on the sole. Really awesome. However, they're a size 10. Shoe sizing. If it is in, if it's an eight, nine, sometimes 10, and I looked at this and I was like, that doesn't really look very big to me. So I bought them thinking I was just gonna try them on and uh, see if they worked. And they were a little bit big, but here's the upside. In dress boots, usually you have to wear a very, very thin sock. And if it's cold out, you will be potentially chillier. So the benefit of having a dress boot that's a little bit bigger is I can wear like my cozy Bombas socks under them and still have a little bit of room. And if there's too much room, you can insert something like this. And I do this with all of my old tennis shoes, my old sneakers. When I am getting rid of a really worn out pair of sneakers, I keep the insole. I just pull it right out of there. It's molded, it's got a little bit of an arch support in it and I save these and I use them to stick in shoes that might be a half size too big. And so that's what I have done. I have put those in these J. Crew boots and now they fit perfectly and they're not so big that I feel like I'm tripping over my toes. So that was a really, really great find. I think these were $14.
So I was super, super excited about that. So I went back today and looked for some things that were both for me and for my daughter and she nixed all of the choices. These I'd never heard of before. So I had to look them up. I went ahead and bought them. These are really cute um, boots that have this, it says love on the bottom. They're also nine and a half. So they're a little bit big for me, but I wanted to get them and look them up. And apparently they are Ellen DeGeneres shoes. I didn't even know she made shoes. Apparently she also makes light fixtures, or at least her name is on the light fixtures. These have a little bit of a heel lift in the back. I don't know if you can kind of see the heel goes to about here. It's like a little covered wedge heel. Um, but I was really surprised at the leather on these. They're really, really nice to the point where I was thinking these were gonna be super expensive shoes. They've got awesome cushioning in the bottom. This is the other thing you wanna do with shoes. Make sure you get your hand all the way in there because shoes sometimes start to flake on the inside and you will be able to tell that if you get your hand in there. Uh, and look at the bottoms. They've never been worn, never been worn. So I might take these back or I might do the insole trick and see if I can keep them because I don't think these are super expensive. I think her line is sold sometimes at DSW and they're like 70 bucks, but still 70 bucks. Do I have a price tag on these? 10. So brand new, $10, $70, $10, $70. I would go for the $10 personally. Actually, I did go for the $10. So I will look at those. Uh, this is a pair of boots that I bought for my daughter. These are Cole Haan <laughs> with that Nike Air technology. And again, next to no wear on the bottoms. They are, I don't even know what size these are. What size are these? They're eight and a half narrow, that AA mark in there. So I don't think I could get my foot in there, but I was thinking that maybe she could because her foot's a little bit smaller and sometimes if you get them narrower, uh, then that, that will work. But they're really cool and they've got some really interesting like details that's in the back. They're, you know they're gonna be comfortable because they did that partnership with Nike and all of their stuff that they made with, that, with the Nike brand became very, very comfortable. So those are probably going to go back because I don't think anyone in this house can use them or I could keep these and try to resell them. And these were $15. So I, in order to, to break even, I would have, my cut would have to be 15. So if I took them to a consignment store, for example, and they sold them for $60 and it was a 50, 50 split, I would get 30. I've made 15. So that's an option. So I might consider this, hang on to those for a little while. The other pair of boots that I found today were these, and these are perfect. This is the other one I've been looking for, is a tall black dress boot. Nice and shiny, kind of this slightly almond toe. It's got an interesting detail here. It has a low heel. I'm not wearing a lot of heels. That brown boot that I showed you earlier is kind of an anomaly. This one has a textile lining, um, which you will see in, in shoes that aren't as well made. These are nine west, so they're kind of a mid range, but they've never been worn. They fit, uh, the leather is really, really lovely. And here's this tactile thing again. I like the sheen, I like the, the feel of it, the hand of it. I like the fact that the zipper is in the back instead of on the side, that kind of makes it a little bit nice. I like some of the detail and there is not a single scuff on this pair of shoes. So 20 bucks, perfect. Excellent. I have my, my black dress boots. Okay. These, let's see, let's see if these are the example that I was saying. So these are Clark's. I think that these are women's. Let's see what they say for US nine and a half. Yeah. So they've marked them a nine and a half. So that's a women's size because these fit me. They're a little bit big, but they fit. Um, super cute. Ox blood little Oxfords with a little tassel fringe here, so cute. These are almost my equivalent of flats. Um, I have a couple pairs of flats that I wear, but really if I'm wearing shorts, this is a nice alternative to sneakers um, or with jeans. I wear them with jeans a lot and I just, I, I like them. Some shorter skirts, some longer skirts, but anyway, so these are super, super comfortable. Clark's does a really, really good job of making the soles, the insoles of their shoes really, really squishy. 
I don't think these have been worn much either because the leather is super, super clean. There's no shading on the inside. Let me get the shoe without the price tag. So you can see there's no discoloration on the inside. So that's something good to look for. And these were $6.99. So I will probably keep those. These are a couple of things that I just got for my daughter. These are the ones that she was also like, meh. You know, these are Adrian Vitadini. Not super great, but for kids. Um, you know, I was kind of keeping my eye open. $4.99. Those will go back. And these I really like. She didn't. Um, Vans slip-ons. I thought those were lots of fun. And they're this dark red leather that's perforated. And I thought it was really super awesome, but she doesn't like them. So I'll probably, I'll either throw those up on Facebook Marketplace and see if somebody else wants them for their kids or I'll bring them back. Those were, how much were those? $6.99. And then finally, last pair, I needed a pair, I needed a pair of sandals. Um, I absolutely trashed my neutral colored sandals this past summer, quite literally started pulling straps out of the soles and I had to cut some of them. So it kind of looked intentional, but it really doesn't. And that's fine, but I'd had them for years and years. So I got some good, good use out of them. Anyway, these I thought were kind of fun, fun little quirky block heel and appropriately enough they're called corks by cork ease and they were really quite comfortable it's not a huge heel and it's got a lot of surface area on the bottom so it's a little bit more stable and a little bit more comfortable and for six dollars and 99 cents i thought i could try them you know i'll wear them once or twice and get seven dollars worth of wear out of them and then i can change my mind and not feel bad about changing my mind so that is all the shoes so let me see the fries and the J. Crew boots aside, because I got those the other day. The Vans, the kids sandals, my sandals, my Clark's Oxfords, the Ellen DeGeneres closed wedge booty, the Cole Haan riding boots, and the Nine West riding boots, including tax, came to $76.60, which is pretty awesome considering you would be hard pressed to buy just this pair of boots in a discount shoe store for that price. So there is a ton of great stuff that can be found and had out there. And I really encourage you to just find a local thrift store, kind of put it on your regular rounds. So when you are coming to or from work or to or from picking kids up, you just kind of swing in and spend a half an hour. I always say I'm gonna spend a half an hour and then I spend like two hours because I think I'm just gonna look at shirts and tablecloths and pants. <laughs> Before I know it, I've spent two hours going through everything. Uh, and if you find one, make sure that you ask them about their return policy if you're not gonna try things on in the store or take the time and build that time into your schedule so that you can try things on and really consider it. And with the shoes, make sure you're looking at the soles Make sure you're touching them to figure out, find out whether they're leather and then try to find clues in fabric content labels to back that up. And also remember to stick your hand all the way in there and feel the interior of the shoe to make sure there isn't anything that's disintegrating or crumbling that you can't see from the outside. So I think that's about it. Um, do let me know if you've got comments or questions. I'm happy to answer anything that I can. And in the meantime, I wish you luck in your treasure hunts and thank you for watching first. Thank you. Let's try that again. Thank you for watching Secondhand First Thought. I'll see you soon.